Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, a box contains 5 blue and 8 green balls. Two draws of 3 balls each are made, the ball being replaced after the first draw. What is the chance that the balls were blue in the first draw and green in the second? Okay, so read the question carefully. What is given? A box contains 5 blue balls and 8 green balls. So two draws of 3 balls each are made. So what is the meaning of that? First three balls are taken in the first draw and again three balls are taken in the second draw. Okay. So first draw three balls are taken together. Second draw again three balls are taken together. But the balls are being replaced after the first draw. So first draw three balls are taken then it will be replaced. Then the second draw is conducted. So that is the main point you have to note here whether replacement is done or not. So this is a with replacement question. The balls taken are replaced and then only the second draw is conducted. Now what is the question? What is the chance that the balls were blue in the first draw and green in the second? So in the first draw, what is the chance that all the three balls are blue? And in the second draw, what is the chance that the and green in the second? Okay, so what is the chance that the balls were blue in the first draw and green in the second draw? Okay, so you can see here. So what is happening? So first draw, you should have blue balls. So blue balls means you have to select three balls from these five blue balls available. So that is that will be your number of favorable outcomes. So out of five blue balls available, you have to select three blue balls. So your number of favorable outcomes will be number of ways in which you can select three balls from the given five balls. So 5C3 will be your total number of favorable outcomes. Then total number of possible outcomes, what it will be? So 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. So totally there are 13 balls. So total number of outcomes will be equal to 13 C3. So 5 C3 divided by 13 C3. And, and is coming means you have to multiply. So first draw all the balls should be blue. So for that the probability is equal to 5 C3 divided by 13 C3. 13 is the total number of balls. From 13 total number of balls, you have to select 3 balls. So it is coming as 13 C3. Then blue balls you have to select. So 5 blue balls are there and from that you are selecting 3 blue balls. So 5 C3 divided by 13 C3 is the probability of getting all the blue, sorry, all the balls blue in the first draw. And all the balls should be green in the second draw. So and is coming, so you have to put multiplication and what is the probability of getting three green balls in the second draw so what is the number of favorable outcomes there are eight green balls and you have to select three green balls so eight c3 will be a number of favorable outcomes and what is the total number of outcomes you are having 13 balls in total from that you have to select three balls you are replacing the first three balls drawn you have replaced that is why again 13 balls are there and from that you have to again select 3 balls. So 13 C3 is the total number of outcomes. So number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes will be giving you the probability. So you will be getting first draw 5 C3 divided by 13 C3 and in the second draw 8 C3 divided by 13 C3. So when you are multiplying both your formula will come like this. So what you will be getting 5 into 4 into 3 divided by 13 into 12 into 11 into 8 into 7 into 6 divided by 12 into 13 into 11. So by solving this you will be getting your answer as 140 divided by 20,449. So this will be your probability. The probability will be always between 0 and 1. So here your answer is 140 divided by 20,449. The second question, a box contains 6 red and 3 white balls. 4 balls are drawn out one by one and not replaced. What is the probability that they are alternately of different colors? So this is a very interesting question. So what is given? There are 6 red balls and three white balls. Four balls are drawn out one by one. 
so first one ball is drawn then a second ball is drawn then a third ball and then a fourth ball here the main point is they are not replaced so once a ball is taken it will be just taken out of the group so 6 plus 3 9 balls are there in total so after the first ball is drawn again only 8 balls will be available after the second ball is drawn only again 7 balls will be available third ball is drawn means only 6 balls will be available they are not replaced then we have to find out what is the probability that they are alternately of different colors so first we can start with the red ball so both possibilities you have to select here one is first you can select with a red one first you can start with a red ball second chance is first you can start with a white ball so both you have to find out and then you have to add then only you will be getting the total probability so first ball is red so first ball is red means what is happening there are six red balls and you have to select one from that so six even divided by total nine balls are there six even divided by nine c1 your second ball should be white they should be alternately of different colors so first ball is red means your second ball will be white so what is the chance of getting a white ball you are having a total of three white balls out of that you have to select a ball then what is the total number of remaining balls it is eight balls only now one ball has been taken it is not replaced so only eight balls are remaining from that you have to take a one ball so eight seven is the number of balls now again you have to select a red ball only red ball how many red balls are there now five red balls only so your your chance of getting is 5 c1 5 c1 ways you can select a red ball from the total of five balls and your total number of balls is equal to 7 so 7 c1 now again you have to select a white ball so white ball is 2 c1 only two white balls are remaining so 2 c1 divided by total number of balls now is 6 so 6 c1 so this will be your probability when you are starting with a red ball so what you will be getting here 6 and 6 cancelled 6 even is 6 everything is 6 by 9 into 3 by 8 into 5 by 7 into 2 by 6 okay so here you will be getting 4 here you will be getting 3 so what is your answer 5 divided by 7 into 4 into 3 4 into 3 12 12 into 7 is equal to 84 so 5 by 84 now your second way is you can start with a white ball so that is also one way you cannot say first ball is red or first ball is white so both the cases you have to consider now second is first ball is white so first ball is white means what is the probability out of three you have to select one ball and your total number of balls is equal to 9 so 3 3c1 three into 9c1 second ball is red first one white second ball is red so 6c1 divided by 8c1 so one ball has gone so total number of balls is equal to 8 now your third ball should be again white so 2c1 divided by 7c1 into your fourth ball is again red so 5c1 divided by 6c1 so your denominator and numerator are same only just like the first condition 6 into 3 into 2 into 4 5 and 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 so you will be again getting 5 by 84 so your total probability is either you can go for this or you can go for the second one either you can start with a red or you can start with a white so you have to add or is coming so you have to add both so you will be getting 5 by 84 plus 5 by 84 is the total probability which is equal to 10 by 84 which gives you 5 by 42 so 5 by 42 is your final answer last question just to become thorough we will be seeing one more question a box contains 5 black and 7 white balls a ball is drawn out of it and replaced in the bag then a ball is drawn again what is the probability that both the balls drawn were black second both were white third the first ball was white and the second black fourth one the first ball was black and the second white so what are the given question a box is containing five black and seven white balls so one ball is drawn out of it then again it is replaced so this type of questions you have to see whether replacement is done or it is without replacement that is the main point here replacement is done so first ball is drawn it is replaced then again a second ball is drawn so you have to find out for different conditions what are the probabilities first one both the balls drawn were black so black means the first one first ball 5 c1 divided by 12 c1 into and is coming first draw and second ball also should be black and replacement is done so again it will be 5 c1 into 12 c1 your black balls is not decreasing 
the total number of balls is also not decreasing because you are replacing the first ball drawn. So, 5C1 by 12C1 into 5C1 by 12C1 which gives you 25 divided by 144. N C1 is equal to N. So, just remember that 5C1 is equal to 5. Now, both were white. So, it will be 7C1 by 12C1 into 7C1 by 12C1 which gives you 49 divided by 144. Now, third question, the first ball was white and the second black. So, first ball should be selected out of 7 balls. So, number of favorable outcomes is equal to 7C1 and total number of outcomes is equal to 12C1 and the second ball is black. So, number of favorable outcomes is equal to 5C1 and your total number of outcomes is equal to 12C1. So, 5 Finally, you will be getting 35 divided by 144. Now, fourth question, the first ball was black and the second white. So, just the reverse will come. First, you have to select 5 balls, you have to select 1 and from 12 balls, you have to select 1, it will come in the denominator and then again, you have to select a white ball which will be 7C1, number of favorable outcomes and number of total outcomes is equal to 12C1. So, again, you will be getting 35 divided by 144. Thank you for watching.